Good morning, guys. We're on a boat. We're on a boat. Have a look at the boat for a second. A beautiful boat from Reef Marine. It's a sportsman. It's a 19 island reef. But we currently have a fishing curse put upon us by someone. We cannot catch a fish. This morning we lost four Mackies and it's just not happening for us. And you can't catch a fish, there's another option. And I think it's time to suit up, and get in and shoot something so we don't go hungry. You need a fish for a cook up, so. It's my time to shine. Pressure's on. Let's do it. Josh has gone down, so hopefully that means he's seen something. And hopefully he'll come back up with something. <laughs> went ape shit. I gotta get in the boat, there's some big man in grey suits behind me. Get in. Watch out Tyro, grab Tyro back. This thing's got teeth. Ready? Yeah. Oh. I just really this end it just dumped a fair bit of the spool. It was dragged me around. It dragged me in front of oh, I've sorted this after. It dragged me in front of the boat and I've seen Larissa like coming over. I just seen it like take off, I'm like stop, and then, yeah, oh, absolute tank of a Spanish. <laughs> Man, I was seeing schools of smaller ones, and I was patient, I was patient, and this one, he like kicked away, you'll see, he was probably out of vision, out of vision, and a little, the only tip I can kind of give you, if you're trying to spear the Spanish, is you can be pretty aggressive towards them, and like so pin it towards them and then you know just swim the angle that they're swimming like that 
and they will just come closer and closer to get a look at you and you'll see this guy turned presented himself i got a nice holding shot out that side kind of in there a little bit of damage to some meat but other than that absolutely sick sick fish and it, it took me for a run eh? all right this is a real cool little feature of this boat we got like this can be used as a live well or like a kill tank to like just cut his gills out and make him bleed put him in there to bleed and then you just hit um hit this one here and it'll just keep pumping fresh water on your fish while it bleeds out yeah also can be used as like a live well so a pretty sweet feature and then um I'm gonna put the knife away. And you got like a wash down too, so while you're bleeding your fish, you got a hose set up in it. And you can uh, wash all the blood off. Wicked set up, eh? <laughs> we haven't had anything like this before. All the blood off. Wash down there. You wanna do that side? Yeah. What do you reckon of that, Toro? First Josh has asked me to move the Spanish from the kill tank into the esky up the front. Let's see if I can even pick this thing up. And then we gotta head in because we gotta get this boat in before the um, tide starts dropping too low. And then we'll go back to, we got a nice little Airbnb instead of camping, lucky me. And so we'll head back there and probably do a bit of a cook up with that one. Alrighty, that was pretty hectic. We've got to get back to the boat ramp so we can get the boat out. The tide's going to be too low, so we're going to smash back in and then we'll see you in there and explain what just happened. <laughs> oh, we've broken in the new boat. Well, oh, shouldn't say new boat. Reef Marine sportsman that we've just picked up. We went out for a maiden voyage. We weren't even gonna film it and we're like, oh, we'll, we'll throw the GoPros in just in case. And um, we, we could not catch a Mackie. We're cursed for fishing, but I jumped in and pumped this guy and uh, we got fresh fish for lunch. So I'm gonna fill it this one up. And um, what, are we, what are we cooking up, Larissa? We got some wraps. We got fish, fish wraps. wraps. Yeah. Oh, fresh fish wraps. So. Knock this one up and um, I didn't really get to show you guys that much of the boat, but I'll, I'll just give you a quick look. It's a 19 Island Reef Sportsman and um, Reef Marine's like the main dealer for them in most of Queensland. So we're going to get to test this one out and see how we go. But uh, just quickly this morning, it was real choppy this morning. It was just like just sitting in it. It didn't get wet, nothing. It was pretty good, eh? It was so nice. It was so comfy. A lot better than the tinny. <laughs> Tinny's not that bad, come on. Compared to that? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it's got a big 150 on it. It's, it's decked out. It's got the best transducers. It's got the best sounders. It's just, it's got so much. But um, over the next couple of episodes, probably tomorrow, I think we're going to have a big send. Um, I'll show you heaps more of it. As we use each feature, I'll show you it. But um, pretty stoked so thank you guys as well for all the following and all the love and all the support and that's why we get to test out a boat like this so i'm gonna knock this fish up and that did not sound cool i'm gonna fillet this fish and we're gonna cook up some fresh um fresh lunch yeah you guys would have seen this fish absolutely towed me up <laughs> he's dragging me all around the ocean oh 
You guys have seen him, he fell at heaps of fish. I'll knock this up and then we'll get back to you. Slab of meat, it's as long as my arm. <laughs> and that's literally one side, so like 90% of that is edible. Maybe even more, it's just a couple of bones in the middle here that we'll get rid of and the rest we'll eat. So we're gonna um, slice it all up, bag it up. We've got fish for days, so. Tyra's favorite part of any fish, the tail. Look at you, you got mackerel on your face, buddy. Go on. <laughs> Yummy, buddy. <laughs> How nice is Josh? He cut these up in bite-sized pieces for us. All right, we're gonna use the southern fried chicken and the lightly seasoned fish. Chuck them in the bag together. Chuck that one in. Chuck this one in. And we're gonna mix it all up. Make sure it is coated really well. Get this nice and heated up. We're gonna shallow fry it. So turn it up pretty high and then put a fair bit of oil in, just enough to sort of shallow fry it. That, that. Do you, want, do you want some fish with your oil? <laughs> Come on, heaps more. It's like we're deep frying it. All right, we'll be back when that is heated up and the fish is ready. It's ready. <laughs> you idiot. <laughs> One last shake up. Good luck. This pan's a bit like on the, you know, but that's okay. Ooh. Oh, it smells good. Get them in there. I'm not to burn myself. Oh. One last piece, gotta shove it in there somewhere. Just a bit of this for like good luck. I don't know. You don't have to do that. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> get it, Tyra. Get him, 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 get Plate all this up. How good does that smell? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, someone smell it. Please. All right. Wrap time. Wrap time. Let's get in and make some. Okay. Oh, it smells good. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. Let's watch Larissa make her wrap. She uh, she has a way. Not what you mean. Very specific. Oh. Hot. Mm. Mm. 
So I want a fish? Yeah, I just broke this up for him. Could be hot. No, it's a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> good? Mm. Okay, guys. Another good feed. Thanks for watching another video. This one, obviously, pretty simple. Pretty easy. But, um... Stay tuned because tomorrow we're sending it to the reef and we're going to have a real big day. So it should be a nice juicy episode, but um, this is like a little day in the life, what we do. Mm. Mm. I'm a <laughs> Alright guys, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Larissa's still hooking in. <laughs> I'm going to edit this one up now, get it out as quick as possible for you guys to so have something to watch. But to finish the episode for a bit of a laugh. Watch Tyro attack our drone yesterday at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Cool.